Hey everybody, Dave here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at installing the TextLock software on your server. I'm assuming that you've all got access to a uh, cPanel of some sort. Uh, if you're trying to install on a server that does not have a cPanel, the steps might be slightly different, but not very much. You'll probably be able to figure it out. So, a couple of things that we need uh, in order to install TextLock. We need the TextLock zip file which you've received and we need a MySQL database set up so we're gonna do that first and we're in cPanel here so all we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and we're gonna go to MySQL database wizard okay we wanna give this a name that means something so I'm gonna recommend if you're installing TextLock for multiple clients that you name the database and the installation folder that you'll see in a minute after the customer. That's going to make it very easy for you uh, to deal with. So it's one install per customer, period. End of discussion. Keeping it simple. That's what TextLock is all about. Simple and effective. So I'm going to say that this is, we're just going to say this is Bob's muffler, right? So we can't put Bob's muffler in here. It's too long. So we're just going to put Bob's, okay? And we're going to go next step. So now we've created a database called ttt321 underscore bobs okay now we need to create a user for the database I'm gonna make that the exact same thing I'm gonna make that bobs I'm gonna say Bob with a capital B one two three and re-enter it Bob with a capital B one two three obviously you're gonna wanna use a stronger password Bob with a capital B one two three there it is um, stronger password than that but uh, for this demonstration that'll be just fine and we're going to create oops and this changed that's a function of LastPass if you have LastPass installed turn it off it'll save you a lot of time so we're gonna do this one more time Bob's okay and create the user okay we're gonna give the user all privileges go to the next step and you can see that this is the username we set up now has privileges on this database using the password that we've set up so now we can click back to home and you're gonna to need to know this information to finish the install now we're going to come over here to file manager and we're going to go to the root of the domain that we want to install this on okay so if you're installing it on mydomain.com you're going to go to the root of mydomain.com and I'm going to click go this is the root okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a folder this folder is going to be for Bob's mufflers so we're going to call the folder Bob's and create the new folder Okay, I'm going to double click it to open it, and we're going to go upload, choose file. I think I put this one on my messy desktop. Let's just go over there, scroll down, find our text log zip file, and upload it. And you'll see the status bar down here that it says it's starting the upload and it's complete. So now we can click here, we go back to file manager. We can go up one level, so we're in, we're at textlock.us forward slash bobs, and here's our folder. So we're going to click that and extract it, close, and now to refresh this, we're going to hit reload. So now you can see here's our original zip file, we can delete that, and here is our installation. However, Right now, this installation is sitting on textlock.us forward slash bobs forward slash textlock. We don't want that. We're going to open this folder. We're going to select the first one, hold down shift, select the last one, and click move file because we just want this in forward slash bobs or whatever your customer's name is and click move file. Okay, now if we go up one level, now we're in the folder Bob's as you can see right here and here's all of our files so we're all done here we can close the file manager and we can close 
our cPanel, okay? So let me just log out of the cPanel. All right, so now we can go to our domain, textlock.us forward slash bobs, because that's where we put it, right? forward slash install installer excuse me all right so we're ready to begin our installation in the next video we're going to plug in our database information and our twilio information and get textlock all set up to use